Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Today I am talking to you guys about my August wrap up. It was ARC August and I'm going to be really honest with you guys, ARC August was kind of a bust. Now I did have a, I believe, five book TBR. Three of those were ARCs. Out of the whole TBR I completed two and like a half, so two and a half. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, even though ARC August was a bust, I'm going to be continuing to read my ARCs throughout um, the end of this year. I think my latest ARC that I have um, like a release date for is January, like the end of January. So I'm going to be continuing to read ARCs throughout the rest of the year. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and talk about the seven and a half books that I read in August. So first I read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This was my first Christina Lauren book and I freaking loved this book. It is like rom-com, like adult rom-com romance book. Highly, highly recommend this book. And I definitely want to check out more Christina Lauren. I did give this five stars. This is also their most recent release. So it's a hate to love. And um, one of my favorite books, The Hating Game, is also a hate to love. So highly recommend this one. Next I read Maybe This Time by Casey West. This is Casey West's most recent release. I read all of Casey West's contemporary books. And this was just a cute contemporary, five stars. Um, it's, it's set over the course of a year at nine different events. And I also highly recommend Casey West if you like YA contemporary. Um, she writes really good YA contemporary, just like cute, cutesy, one shot romance. Next, I read my one fantasy book for the month and that was Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I'm not going to talk too much about this book because we do have a live show for this book tomorrow, September 1st at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, with myself as well as Kathleen from For the Love of Books for the Once Upon a Read Along. I believe I gave this either three stars or three and a half stars. I can't remember right now. Um, but if you want to hear more of my thoughts, make sure to check out the live show tomorrow. When that live show is up, I will link it in the description below. Next, I picked up my unwrapped book for August, which was Royce Rolls by Margaret Stoll. Honestly, guys, I picked this book up and then DNF'd it like halfway through and then got the audiobook and picked it up again and finished it. And honestly, I I don't know. I just gave it three stars. It was okay. I don't really have an opinion on it. It basically follows this Kardashian-like family um, and like the behind the scenes of that. It was just okay. I, I don't know. Next, I read The Bride Test by Helen Huang. And this is the companion sequel to The Kiss Quotient. So this follows another character that was mentioned in the other book. Um, and this one was really, really cute. We get um, a whole new perspective from a new character that's introduced in this book. And it was, I really liked it. I'm, I'm finding myself trying so many new rom-com books. I'm, I'm so glad that I was introduced to the uh, adult romance genre this year. And I'm finding books that I really enjoy. I gave this one five stars. Next, I read Hold Still by Nina LaCour. And guys, I, there's, I have so much of no opinion on this book that I didn't rate it. Um, I read this for Readorama. I just, I re honestly do not know what to think about this book. And I decided not to rate it. I listened to the audiobook and maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe if I physically read it, I don't know. But I just don't have an opinion on this book. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I hate it. I just, there's so much I don't know. Last book I completed was The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. Again, the companion sequel to The Wedding Date um, by Jasmine Guillory. Highly recommend this author's work. I've enjoyed both books that I've read by her so far, and I'm really, really excited to pick up more from her. After Readorama ended, and I literally mean like two hours after midnight, like it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Saturday morning, I caught the stomach flu, which was not great. And I had that for most of Sunday and then class started on Monday. So my reading, I have been reading every day, but not as heavily. The book that I'm currently reading, which is one of my arcs from Arc August, was Frankly in Love by David Yoon. I am halfway through this. I'm thinking I can hopefully just focus and finish it tomorrow. Um, but it's possible that I'll finish this in September on September 1st. This comes out on September 3rd. So either way, I'm going to finish it before the release date. I don't know if you guys know, but... Florida has a hurricane hurtling towards it and it's also Labor Day weekend so my three-day weekend has been turned into a four-day weekend and potentially a five-day weekend. We're just gonna see what happens with Dorian coming. Um, so I have lots of time to read this um, 
and I'll hopefully finish it before Tuesday when it comes out. So guys, those are the seven and a half books that I read in the month of August. I did have two other arcs on my TBR. One was American Royals by Catherine McGee. I will be picking that up next. And the other was The Magnolia Sword, um, The Ballad of Mulan. And honestly, it got to the point where I was like, I just really don't feel like picking this up. And my arc, e arc is probably going to expire, but that is what it is. Um, I hope anybody else who got the chance to read it or will be reading it enjoys it. So guys, that is all I have for this video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you want to check out my vlog channel lessons, it's linked in the description below. If you like to see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe if you want to be updated when I post those. Down below in the comments, let me know if I'm going to see you at BookNet Fest next weekend. I will be arriving on Thursday and be there through Sunday. Again, hurricane coming, um, but it's not going to stop me from getting to Orlando. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so cold.